Special editions are common in any vehicle category, and tractors are no different. This is the John Deere 6M and the green paintwork is synonymous with American farmers. This is the black edition. So what do you get extra? Well with a starting price of 105 grand for the 6110 and 130 horsepower, it's actually cheaper than the original version. But is it the bargain that it appears to be? Well it has the same 4.5 litre twin turbo Powertech engine, the same 2100 redline and the same 24 mile an hour top speed. So the answer to the previous question is yes. You get the same levels of performance for four and a half grand less, plus it comes in a truly epic colour. Blank. Now the version we have here today is specced slightly higher than the standard version with a 140 horsepower engine and the black metal paintwork, but it's still only a thousand above the standard non-black edition. Now fancy paintwork and a special badge are all nice and well, but how will it perform on the track? Let's find out. And we're off. So, obviously this is under the small tractor category. 12,100 litres of stuff in the back of this. Dear, oh dear. So it's coming up to the first hump, so that one's out the way. Second one is now been dispatched, and then third one just finished off at the end. So what's it going to reach at the bottom of the hill? About 25 mile an hour top speed, and it's there already, way before the bottom of the hill. Fair enough. But what's it going to drop down to at the top? Oh, it's slowing down. It's really slowing down. Oh, it's struggling down the single figures. Just easing up now. Five. Oh, touch five at the point there. So now it's got the hill climb out of the way. Speeding up a little. Coming through Horseshoe Pass. So obviously you need to concentrate. Gets a bit narrow. Don't want to be falling off the edge. Because that would be terrible to its lap time. So just coming around the last part of that. So that's finished. Coming down the hill. We're coming through Production Chain Junction. So it's now maxing out 26. 26 going down the hill. It's a flat out, 25 mile an hour. Going to come round past the MOT station and then turning right at the sawmill. Going to line themselves up for the jumps. We get all straight and ready to take these three bad boys on. So coming up to the first one. What's it going to be like going over? The first one's out of the way. Second one's done. Got okay, a bit of a bump on the top to be fair. And then the third one's out of the way. It's not really much dramas. So down and right at the oil mill. I'm going to come round, keep the foot in, and line up for solid slipway. How's this going to handle the bumps going in? So obviously it is quite bumpy in there. So straight in. Oh, doing all right. Doing all right indeed. So coming out now, oh, that's a bit of a bump. Oh, that's done it all right, actually, to be fair. Turn left at the great factory. Took it really well through the solid slipway. All right, fair enough. So we're going to come round last section past the silo. I keep the foot down to 25 sets maxed out. Can't go any faster. So coming up to the last corner. It's going to make a mad dash to the line. Two minutes 28.62 for the John Deere 6M Black Edition. See where it puts it on the leaderboard. So the John Deere 6M Black Edition does a 2 minutes 28.62, putting it 6th on the small division leaderboard. But lap time is not what this tractor is about. With its small size, it's able to navigate a tight farmyard, so it's more at home being used as a multi-job tractor rather than the big brute hauler. And in that situation, it's great. Thanks for watching.